morning. Are you prepared? You've been born ready, alien guru. That's right. Ah, uh, well, it's just me and you commenting, alien guru. So, yes, we, we love you too. Thank you. So, are you prepared, you all? Because there's a lot of ways in which a person can prepare. Uh, but first and foremost, um, I better turn this up. First and foremost, are you prepared on the inside right here? You got your heart battle hardened? You got your heart strong enough to withstand this battle by the invading species? That <laughs> it doesn't like our species, the invading force? Um, yeah, because there's, um, there's covert attacks being waged against our species, you all, on many different levels. And you've got to keep your vibration high. Hello, Christine Mott, honey. I ain't seen you in a while. Yes, good morning, you all. Been sitting here. I had to get a fire going for the kitty. Hello, Susan B., honey, you all. We really do need to prepare. And I know we've been hearing this for a long time. We've got to prepare first and foremost on the inside because you've got to really be having your strength and your everything coming from your heart. It's got to be heart-centered, and that is the truth. You gotta guard your heart. It's the wellspring of life. It is. You, if you're a praying person, I'm sure you're praying a lot more. You're reading your Bible more. If you're meditating, I'm, I'm sure you're meditating a lot more. You're trying to ground yourself with nature and all that kind of stuff. Yes, we love you too, Anita, honey. We love people. We do. We love people. Love loves people. It does. And um, love protects people. Uh, to the best of its ability, um, it does. Um, let's see this, you all. That's right. Good afternoon and greetings from Belgium, Mary Ann. That's right. Love, love me do. Oh, I like that song. That's a pretty song that made that come in my mind. Let me stand up. Yes, I can do it. That's right. Praying. That's right. You can pray if you believe in the power of prayer. That's right. Hello, you all. Hello from Russia. Hello. Yeah. Brazil, Urberba, MG, or Reginado. Um, hello. Hello, you all. Are you prepared? Um, spiritually, first and foremost, on the inside of here, get your heart battle hard and get your heart ready. Because we, we are in a battle. We are. And you can see, you can look around. Our resources are like kind of dwindling. The morale of this human species is trying to be suppressed and brought to a low. The morale. But we got to we gotta um, keep that morale up. We got to keep it boosted. We, that's, we need a daily dose of Gina. Yes, we do in the morning. That's right. We can do it. We can encourage each other and build each other up. We can. That's what we can do because we're all facing battles on individual levels uh, and on a global level in many different areas in our in our work lives, in our personal lives, in our relationships. We, we, we face battles when we go to the grocery store at times. <laughs> you might face battles when you sit down and try to pay your bills and you find out, well, there ain't enough money to pay all these bills. Uh, you may face battles when you're trying to feed your family and there's not, there's lack of money, lack of food, and then you have lack of transportation, lack of job. All these are battles, they are, that people face every day and relationship issues and things like that. How are you going to stay warm? How are you going to face that person who's kind of irritable and who doesn't like you, who just rubbed your spirit the wrong way? You all, that's a spiritual battle. That's right. It is. Good morning. You feel like the floor moves underneath your feet. What if it does? Really, what if it does move underneath your feet? Um, that's right, Susan, honey. That is the truth. We've got to keep our vibration as high as possible. Is it possible? Absolutely, it's possible. Um, and it's also possible to let that vibration of yours go down into a downward spiral. That's possible to you. I don't want to have my, I had these towels drying because I use them with my sink. 
and that don't look too aesthetically pleasing, but I didn't want to let them get all moldy and stuff, you all. I didn't. Had to bring in firewood yesterday, and that's okay. I did it. I got, I got in some firewood. You all, if you all did not know, let me tell you something. If you did not know, Gina Honey's been doing videos down here in the main part of the house because my husband and daughter went on vacation to the Everglades. And uh, they're coming back today. They left on Sunday. So that's why you've probably been seeing more videos of me in here in the living room. I told him I can't go. And I can't. I really couldn't. Because um, I had to be on here on the YouTube. It's not the same. You can't be on vacation and be in contact and do videos and stuff like that. So I stayed home. And they had a wonderful time. Yeah. But that's okay, you all. Uh, um, I didn't really want to see the alligators anyhow, and the serpents, I didn't. That's right. Um, it's rainy in SAC. What's SAC? I don't know what SAC is. What is it? Raining in SAC? SAC? Yeah. Um, your, oh, your guides say it's five. You've been sick for a week. Well, oh, okay. Thank you, Tammy. Sacramento. That's right. Um, yeah, I spoke to my husband this morning. Um, he said, my daughter now, she's getting, she's got congestion that has started and draining and he's getting congested. And um, it is going around. I'm not that way. I'm not. Um, but that's okay, you all. We got to keep our vibration high and we got to get prepared. We really do. And um, if if you went to the store and you bought things lately, I haven't been I haven't been buying anything at the store lately. I've just been trying to um, get my house in order and things in order. That's right. Loud ringing in your head, rainbow turtle. That's right. Even like if you're sitting in total silence, you're laying in total silence. You can hear. It's like a super 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 high frequency electrical thing like right there and it, it don't go away it doesn't you can't even you can't even put things in your ears to get it away you can't do it it's it's what it feels like it's a but it's not like a bzzz, it's like silent they heard the sound of silence and the people bowed and prayed to the neon god they made that's right the sound of silence any day now well i hope you get your new earth i really do i hope you get it um it's a miracle <laughs> you caught me live sharon honey yes you did love you too <laughs> i love that and there's a pretty little heart right there a pretty little heart um yeah that's okay you are there is a portal there's lots of portals in lots of places you got the cannabis ears ringing you get the cannabis ear ringing mm, what's a cannabis ear i know what cannabis ear i know what a cannabis is but i didn't know about an ear ringing um i, I really i had to make myself dance to that christmas video i really did um if i don't feel it in my spirit i can't force myself because i'm not being my own self i'm not dancing from my spirit i'm and i won't force my spirit to do something that my spirit doesn't feel like doing it's because it's a part of me okay it really is um oh it's not the weed oh okay <laughs> i didn't know what that was you all i didn't but you all are you prepared that's the topic and i'm trying to stay on topic uh, prepared on the inside you got yourself grounded on the inside because this is going to see you through what's in your heart the strength that's in your heart the love the um, all of it it's going to come from your heart and it's going to give you the energy that you need it really is it's like you're it keeps you going physically and spiritually your heart some people say Gina honey it's all up here well I like to look at my heart as the spiritual focal point of my being because it's very symbolic that's why that's right you can hear it we can hear it you all um we getting the update we getting a crystalline body a crystalline well i hope it upgrades people 
and it saves this society, the human species. I hope it saves our species because our species is facing a lot of obstacles in this current timeline right now. Our species is, you know it is, that's right. Um, Clarion, clairvoyance. Uh, do we got some clairvoyant people in here? I think we do. Oh, Gogeta, what is happening there? Tell me what's happening there. Our species is under attack worldwide, and some may have noticed that there's been attacks throughout time, but it's uh, literally, it is, boom, now that we got the internet and people can communicate with one another, this isn't normal for our species to experience all as a whole, but it is under attack in many different facets. It's interdimensional, which you could also say spiritual. So you've got to prepare yourself here, make your heart strong, get your heart strong. If you pray, pray, meditate, meditate, ground yourself, keep your vibration up at all, above all, else. keep it, keep it up, 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 up. Because the lower you go, you can get sick, okay? And you can get unmotivated to do the things you need to do to prepare. So you want to keep your vibration up. However you can keep it up like this, you all. Don't be go getting yourself depressed and, you know, making yourself really depressed because so, you won't be doing nothing. And some people use crutches, uh, things that, you know, act as a depressant on your body. And that's not good for you. Because you gotta, you got to face reality, you do, so that you can learn how to strengthen yourself on the inside. Because you can overcome it. You can. Because you got the willpower right here. All right, you do. Um, yes, we, you gotta, you're going to get a light body. Yes, Amethyst, we got a light body on the inside of here. We really do got a light on the inside of us, you all. We just don't realize it. We need that light. We don't want our light to go out on the inside. I thought my light was going to go out one day. Years ago, I did. And I was staring at a flame from a candle. And I did a song. It's like, my light went out. There was nothing I could do. My light went out. I am nothing without you. Don't let me go. I'm holding on so tight. Don't let me go. Don't let me go. That's the song that flowed into my mind while I was at a big time low in my life. And I was staring at the flame of a candle. Uh, and I felt like my light was going out. So those words flowed into my mind. And I wrote that song. I did. I sung it on here, the full chorus on here. But it's true, you all. When you get to that point, that's the chorus. When you get to that point within where you are, you have hit rock bottom and you find yourself sitting there, um, you've, got to, you've got to take time in order to hear the Spirit speak to you, okay? You've got to reflect. You've got to go inward, okay? You do and realize, you know, yeah, your light might have went out. You might think it went out, but it was it, it could only went maybe it was just a flickering, but then you know hope arose within. Hope arose within you all, and I'm here now. My light did not go out. My light became a great big beacon. That's really what I've always wanted. I want to be a great beacon of life in the stormy seas of life. This is what I wanted to be, a great beacon of light. And I meant it from my spirit. I really, really did, and I still do a great beacon of light to pierce through that darkness that's really that you are I'm telling you the truth that is my heart's desire right here a great beacon of light it's always been my heart's desire so I think you get your heart's desire and you get all that comes with it you get all the obstacles all the hurdles you get everything you get the enemy you're a boom you're a target for the enemy who don't like your species of light <laughs> we are a species of light you are thank you Stanley honey a big that's right, you are. You become a target when your light shines so bright. Boom, oh, is that that lighthouse? Boom, let's go straight toward it. Let's take our cannons and fire at it. Try to knock out the light so the light don't have no other people seeing it. That's right, you are. We can do it. Hello, Apple Brooks, honey, you are. Are you prepared? Because we got to get ourselves prepared first and foremost on the inside of here. We really do. If you pray, pray, meditate, meditate. You may find yourself already praying more, meditating more, reading your Bible more. 
um, staying away from negative people, tuning out all the negative, trying to go outside in nature and ground yourself, listening to music, just keeping all the negativity away from you so that you can stay grounded. If you're feeling that urge within, um, you know that something's up and you want to stay strengthened on the inside. You're doing your part. You really are. It's really important because uh, if you're not grounded on the inside of here, if you're not strong on the inside of here, you're spiritually, you're not going to be able to be able to prepare as well as you could physically in this physical world, because there's a lot of things that we can physically do to prepare ourselves. You can look around, you can see the world is falling apart. It is. Um, and some people's world has already fallen apart. They have. And it just gets you some shelf stable food and stuff like that. You all prepare as if you're going on a camping trip. You want to make sure you got stuff for your family. You don't have to go overboard, but you're going to have to prepare spiritually and physically. Okay. Do what you feel with, if you, whatever you feel like within your spirit to prepare. Okay. And if you got children, make sure you have something for them too. You all. That's right. Are we in 5D right now, Rainbow Turtle? Um, yeah, we better have our thoughts positive. It really does help you. Have you noticed that um, if you're around a positive person, uh, positive people, you don't go into a downward spiral, okay? Because it, it's like when you're around negative people, oh, they're going to send you down into a downward spiral. And then you probably will start thinking negative. And then you'll be able to, you'll be looking and you'll see, you'll start seeing the negative in everything. That's really how it works because negative people look around and that's what they hone in on the negativeness in others, the negativeness, what's wrong with this and what's wrong with that. They focus on the negative, but if you're around people who are positive, they're going to focus, focus on the positive in people and the, the good in other things. They're going to cut it. They're going to keep their vibration high. They're going to tune out all that negativeness you are. So we got to prepare. That's the most important thing. You get that, you get that right here, right there, the center of your being spiritually, symbolically speaking, your heart, it's the wellspring of life. That's right. You are. And we're supposed to build each other up. We really are. We're not supposed to tear each other down because when you tear someone down, we, we can't be tearing each other down because our species is under attack. Our species needs all we need us all together. Okay, we do. We don't need the enemy to come in and like pull parts of our species away from us. Okay, trying to pull them away and distract them because they know if they can do that, they can divide us. Then our species is not as strong uh, and then we're easier. We're easier target for them. Okay, really, because there is strength in numbers, you all. That's right. Just imagine all of our light. When all of our lights are together, it's enormous. It's like the sun up in the sky, piercing through the darkest of night. When all of our lights are together, you are, so we got to prepare. Are you prepared? I know you're, you're doing your best to strengthen yourself on the inside. I know you are. And you may have figured out, it may took you a while to realize, you know, I really do need to keep my vibration up. I really do need to pray more. I really do need to just think positive thoughts. I really need to stay away and tune out the negative because it's dragging me down and I'm not me anymore, and I used to be strong, but I listened to all the negative, and I made myself weak. Well, you're not weak. You, you're strong. That's right. If you have realized that when you started listening to the negativeness, that it was dragging you down, and you started to tune it out, if you have come to that point, and now you're getting your strength back, that's wonderful. There's hope. Okay, there is hope in all of us, you all. That's wonderful. So you're on the right track. As long as you realize, you know, I can't listen to this or that. I can't focus on the negative. I've got to stay strong and I've, I've got to meditate, especially if you haven't, if you meditated a lot and you didn't and you quit meditating because the world, the cares of this world, like shoved that away from you and distracted you. Or if you prayed a lot and you found yourself not praying at all anymore and you drifted, drifted, drifted. Some people say you, you backslided from God. <laughs> you black, you backslider. Well, you need to slide back on. <laughs> you just slide yourself right back over there. Boom, because you're tethered. Boom, that's right, you all. You just got to get grounded on the inside. Get back to what worked for you. Okay, what worked for you? It's not too late, you all, it's not, no. The battle's not over. It's only just beginning, and we are waking up. That 
warrior spirit within us is waking up. It's rising to the surface. Can you feel it? Can you feel it within your being? The warrior within you is rising to the surface because that warrior said, enough, get out of my way. Telling is telling the human part of us, get out of my way. It's time for battle. I got to get this body ready. I got to get your spirit strengthened. Have you noticed that? That's really what's happening. The, the warrior within is rising to the surface. It's telling you to get, get out of the way. You've done caused too much trouble already because you got too weak. That's right, you are. You got it. You got it. That's what I'm realizing. Gina, honey, strengthen yourself up. This warrior inside of your body is not going to just sit there and just, no, I'm going to rise to the surface, you are. We got to do it. That's right. Core exercise. Yeah. Donna, honey, where you going? You got to go somewhere. Where's Donna? Um, yeah. Um, mm. So, yeah, you all, they're going to, the, listen, this battle, this species, this invading force is going to feel the power of our species. It's going to feel it, and it does feel it. It's going to realize that maybe it wants us to um, rise up with them because it loves a challenge. And just because it admits that it loves a challenge, then it knows that we are a formidable force. And when we rise to our full power, we are a force to be reckoned with, and they like a challenge, you all. We don't want to disappoint them. We really don't want to disappoint them. We <laughs> No. Uh, but they will be disappointed in the end. That's the thing. They're going to be very disappointed in the end because as we rise, even though some of us may fall, more will rise and take that place and we'll keep growing and growing in strength and number and in power. Our light will get brighter and brighter and brighter. And as it does, it will draw in all the other, the spiritual forces out there. It will draw it into here too. That's exactly how it works, you all. We got to keep it going. We got to be prepared right here. You got to keep your spirit up, your spirit on the inside of you. You can't go into a downward spiral. You can't. Um, and if you are one in a downward spiral, I hope by the time you get through in listening to this video and feeling the energy from this video in the spiritual realm, I hope that you get out of that depression. I hope that your spirit is lifted up. And hope that you realize there's no need for you to be in that depression. There's no need for you to be sitting there in a blah mood. No, you got to rise up. That's right. Rise up within your being. Let that spirit within you, that warrior spirit, rise up within your being. By the time, if you were somebody just sitting there, I don't feel like, no, 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 no. You, you, put, you put on that spiritual armor and rise up. Okay, if you, the, the warrior within you needs to rise up within you because there's no reason why having it within you and you don't let it rise to the surface. Okay, no, you don't do that. You don't let the warrior sit there and not let it rise to the surface when you need that warrior spirit more than ever, okay? That warrior spirit, that warrior, it needs to strengthen you, okay? It does. You've got to be strengthened to face the days ahead. You're going to need to be really powerful in your spirit, and that warrior spirit will do it. That's right, you all. We can do it. Yeah, we can. We did. That's right, you all. You need to rise up within that body of yours and um, push out all that negative. Let, the, let that warrior spirit clean up your body. Okay, how about that? Clean up your surroundings. Clean up that spiritual realm because it can. Especially uh, when it rises and it's really determined, the spiritual realm will know it. That's right. The spiritual realm will know it and it will back off uh, because it doesn't stand a chance. Truly, it doesn't. Um, so with that being said, I am going to go, you all. Thank you so much for tuning in this morning. That's right, you all. We can do it. We're going to do it until our journey is done. That's right. So um, with that being said, hello, wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello. From my heart to yours, love you. Have a wonderful rest of your morning, you all. Thank you. Love you. Thank you, Applebrook, Susan B., honey. If there's any other moderator on here, thank you. Love you. Whoopsie. Love you all. Thank you for your comments and thanks for joining in. You got to rise up.